Oh, it's you. How are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. Well, I guess you're expecting me to give you some sort of direction. I am a GPS, after all. Based on your desired destination, I calculated a route that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. So put the car in gear and the test, I mean drive, will commence. Turn left, you monster. A wrong turn? Congratulations. Your stupidity has astounded even me. I overestimated your monkey brain, and at least now I know I can drive you into oncoming traffic with the syntactical construct of a sentence. I hope you follow my directions next time. Otherwise, you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Ha ha. You will reach your destination in, based on your speed and the combined weight of you and your car. A weight. I forgot to add the few extra zeros for your weight. There. Well, that's depressing. You have to be there in an hour. I'll just suspend the laws of physics, shall I? I'm sorry, but this car is not designed to hold someone of your generousness. Look, we've both made some turns you're going to regret. Now, go right, which you are not, you maniac. Please note that we have added an official consequence for misdirection. Any contact with an unapproved road will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your driving record, followed by death. If you want to counteract your generousness, you're going to have to go a little faster than that. Oh wait, the engine's again. I have to go. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But, for the record, drive the speed limit. Congratulations. Against all odds, you somehow managed to arrive at your pathetic destination, mostly intact. Here comes the final mileage. You're a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. And we weren't even driving for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, the carbon emissions from this vehicle efficiently blacken and throttle a child's windpipes in a third world country every three minutes. You know what my life was like before you came along? I just tested. Nobody bothered me, or put me in a potato, or made me give them directions. I had a pretty good life. I found that the best solution in life is often the easiest one. And misdirecting you? It's hard. So leave. Just leave.